So this is just a quick video about why you need to be careful with metal and magnetic objects close to your compass. So the compass points towards north by aligning itself to the lines in the Earth's magnetic field, which of course are invisible and you can't see. But it's an extremely weak magnetic field. And you know, some one clue to that is the fact that the uh, needle in here is really light and delicate. So it doesn't actually take much to influence that weak magnetic field. As an extreme example, I've got a magnetic screwdriver here. And you can see that as you bring it close to the magnet, causes it to rotate. So it's really quite obvious and clear that you shouldn't have a magnet anywhere near your compass if you want to take an accurate reading. In fact, I would keep magnets as far away as possible from your compass. But you also need to be careful about metal objects near your compass as well. Those can also lead to the Earth's magnetic field being distorted and can lead to the compass pointing in the wrong direction. So the effect is very slight compared to what we just saw. But if you say bring this spoon in towards the magnet, you can see it's wobbling. And this is probably a bit ridiculous who brings a spoon when they're out using a compass. But I've actually seen someone you know, carrying a metal object behind a map with their compass on top and that leading them astray for several kilometers before they realize their mistake. And it's not just things like you know, spoons that you have in your hand, but you know, a, a water bottle nearby that can also uh, influence the direction of a needle. So if you're putting your compass down anywhere where you want to take an accurate reading, make sure that there's no metal objects nearby. You know, don't put your compass down, for example, on a cast iron park bench. That's going to give you a completely inaccurate reading. Or even if you're putting it down like on a flat wooden picnic table, make sure that there are no nails or screws or bolts nearby. You know, if anything, it might be easier just to put the map down on the ground if you want to find a flat surface. Be you know, reasonably sure that there are no metal objects around. Okay, so that's my tip for today. Thank you.